in the 2018 playoffs, the most since Allen Iverson in 2001. I mean, it's 15 years deep, seven straight finals. How are you doing this in year 15? Uh, I just put a lot of work in. Uh, first of all, the man above is giving me some abilities that I've tried to take full advantage of. And uh, I put the work in day in and day out on my body, working on my game every day to try to put myself to be in the best condition I can be in in the postseason. So um, my teammates, my coaching staff allowed me to go out and do the things to try to help us win. They trust me. And uh, besides the seven turnovers tonight, I think I earned their trust a little bit more. How do we know you know the turnover number? Guys like Kyle Korver and Tristan, who you have been through some postseason battles with, what effect does that have on the trust you have in these moments in those guys? I mean, it's huge. Um, we made some uh, some some midday or midline uh, trades uh, to brought in a lot of guys. Um, but at the end of the day, we know that the experience that we got with the guys that was already here, uh, you can kind of hang your hat on, and that's what me, Kev, Jr., Tristan, Kyle. And, and George Hill as well, because he's been in huge games. I've actually played against him, obviously, in a, in a, in a bunch of uh, playoff games. But to have that type of uh, comfort with guys that you know that's been in the bunker, which you can always rely on. What effect is the defense being played on Al Horford having on your ability to win these last two games? I mean, Al's so good. He allows, he does so much for their team, pushing the break getting guys involved, getting himself involved. In that third quarter, he started to wear on us a little bit. Um, and we're just trying to keep a body on him, be physical with him, but he's a multi-year all-star for a reason. Uh, but I give a lot of credit to our big, starting with Tristan, Kev, Larry. Uh, I switch on him a little bit. Jeff Green switch on him a little bit. Try to keep multiple bodies in front of him. Boston is a city that you've seen some highs and lows in. What do you most look forward to going back there? Uh, it's a hostile environment. We understand that. We know that. There's no love in there. If you ain't got on green, um, if you don't play for that team, if you don't bleed green, they got no love for you. So we got to come out with a bunker mentality. I understand it's just us. It's going to be a great atmosphere. They have not lost the game in the postseason yet on their home floor. So they play extremely confident. We know that. And um, it's going to be a, a tough but a collective group. And if we play like we did in three and four, then we give ourselves a good chance. Thank you, LeBron. All right, thanks, Doris. Mike. Thank you, Doris. Whatever.